Hello, welcome to this Page Plus tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use clipping paths, or otherwise known as irregular crop boxes, in Page Plus. So let's take a look at some images I have over here. And these various images have clipping paths applied to them. Start off by making a new document. And now I'm going to bring in an image. So the first one I'm going to bring in is a Photoshop image of the ring. And I'll click on the Import Picture button here. And come over here and we find the Photoshop image. And then just draw it out the size that you want. I'm also going to put a uh, bit of text in here. And move that underneath the ring so that you can see that it is showing through and it is using the clipping path. And now I can apply effects to it. So, first, what I'm going to do is put a drop shadow on it. And you can see that there's a nice drop shadow on it. So that's how you bring in a Photoshop image. If it has a clipping path, it will be automatically uh, applied. And it is called, not clipping path, but irregular crop box. Okay, let's take a look at importing an EPS. So first I'm going to draw the picture box by going to the rectangular picture frame, clicking it, and draw out a picture box. And I'm going to put some effects on it. So the first effect I want to add is a reflection. And then when the picture comes in, I want it to scale to uh, fit inside this box. So the way we do that is go to Properties, Frame Properties, and click on Scale to Minimum Fit and click OK. Now you notice I have not brought in an image yet but I was able to style the box. So now I'll bring in the image and those effects will be applied to it. Click on the EPS, click open, select the default here. You can pick, uh, if you're printing to press, CMYK. We'll just do RGB right now. And you can see now that the effect is applied. Now this comes in very handy if you're using the um, photo, mail and photo merge, and you're bringing in uh, a database or something like that that contains pictures. So I'll scale this down here. Now let's take a look at doing it all in Page Plus with the uh, Cutout Studio. So first I'll draw a box. And then I'll go out and I'll find the JPEG image. JPEGs can contain clipping paths. I'll show you one in Photoshop here. See that that's the ring RGB JPEG. And over here, it has the clipping path. I just activated it so you can see that the clipping path is on the image. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is right click on this image and go to the Image Cutout Studio. Looks like I grabbed the RGB, or the, didn't get the RGB one. Properties, Image Cutout Studio, Studio up for us. And notice there, there is some blurring here and uh, shadows that are going to be hard to deal with. So I'll start off by clicking over here in a spot. And you see that it captures most of it. And as I click around in here I can capture more of the white. Now even though there is a lot of blurring and everything, it is doing a great job at capturing uh, the areas that need to be knocked out. So now that I have everything knocked out in here, I'm going to click OK. And now 
I'll fit this to the frame. And it doesn't quite fit in there properly, but notice it's knocked out. Well, how we're going to get it to fit is I'll zoom out on it a little bit. And then grab this hand tool. and move it into position. Now I'd be able to either make a reflection on it if I wanted to. Or can put a drop shadow on it. Now why did we do it like this? Um, and not just use the cutout studio. Well, in graphic design, you might have a lot of images come in that have clipping paths already, and you want to use them. So if they come in, make sure that you have them e either in Photoshop, PSDs, or they are EPS, and then you'll be able to use them in your publication without having to do any extra steps. If they're not cut out already, you can use the Cutout Studio in Page Plus and cut them all out and have them ready or you can use Photo Plus and prepare them in there. So thank you very much for watching.